Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain and this morning I wanted to show you that you can actually use your cutting machine to cut uh, paper electrical circuits for lighting up cards. Now I'm not going to go into the design of the actual circuit itself. Um, I would much prefer you refer to someone who is far more experienced in electronics than I am. But I'm going to show you the simple process of making it so that you can actually design the circuit on your machine, be it using an iPad or anything else to get the image into your cutting machine, whatever it is that you do, but that you can actually make a file that you can keep. So you can repeat this card. And if you've got a design that you know works and you can cut the circuit on your machine, you can turn out these cards a lot more easily and a lot more successfully and if you're mass producing them for Christmas or something this could be quite handy. Now the circuit I'm going to do is a very 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 simple circuit, the simplest you can possibly do but you can obviously do more complicated ones and this is where this type of thing will come into its own. If you're doing a more complicated circuit in a tight space then this may be a better solution for you than trying to manually manage sticking tape down. So I've got a very simple design here and I want to put um, a little lamp underneath my holly berries to make them light up. So this is a representation of my lamp. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it and paste it. There we go. And I'm going to put this in here like so. There we go. And I'm just going to group this. Normally, obviously, I would set that to cut and I would be cutting out that hole, but I'm just going to group it at the moment. So what I want to do is to put this over my background, which is the same size as the design that I want to make and you can see that, that is where my little lamp would be and you can see if I put this frame here that I've got a little bit of an issue with the holly leaves touching this frame here. It doesn't matter because the frame is on the inside and not on the top of the card. I will explain in a second. I'm going to take my other little lamp symbol, place it over that one and then remove this. So I know that is where my lamp is going to be and in fact that's a little bit too close so I'm going to ungroup this, going to resize my holly so that I can move it somewhere else. There we go. And I'm going to move that up to there and group it again. Take that out and line this up. Put that over there. There we go. So now it's not interfering with this bit. Right, let me explain this. This is a representation of foam tape around the outside of the card. When you're making an electronic card, you have to have the top design raised on foam and you have to have a little raised edge around your battery area because you don't want this to be contacting permanently. You only want it to contact when you fold the flap over. This is a cut line. And this is where the battery would sit. And this is a cut line. This represents the top part of the battery and is the contact switch. So basically when this folds over here, it makes contact with the battery and your circuit goes on. But this foam piece needs to go around the edge. So you need to know where the boundary that is when you're designing your circuit. So this makes it easier to do. So all I need to do is make a contact between this, this and this. And so in this particular case, what I'm going to do is 
draw with a pencil and I'm going to go diagonally across here and then I'm going to go there and then I need to do another one that goes from there to there. Now obviously these are only very 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 thin lines so I'm just going to pick one up here so what I would do is I'll go to path and I go to offset and I'll put an offset on of say 0.15 and there I have my offset and do the same for there path offset path and 0.15 okay so that will give me a three millimeter cut so in order to cut this you would not be cutting that you won't be cutting the batteries so we can remove those from the equation there you won't be cutting the light you are just left with the area that you need your uh, contact tape or whatever it is to be now this is very easy to do using kitchen foil yeah your normal standard kitchen foil that practically every kitchen in the world probably has kitchen foil in it uh, certainly in the western world anyway so what you do is you spray the back of a piece of kitchen foil with some temporary adhesive and you place it over your card in the area that you need your design to be and then when you send it to the machine you send this bit to kiss cut and in my case I just use a force of eight to kiss cut my aluminium foil remove the excess just like you would if you were weeding vinyl just pretend it's a vinyl cut and then you've got your circuit in place so your battery will go there this bit will fold over there and it makes your circuit complete so that is how you actually do it and it's a very easy way of doing things. So if you've got multitude of cards to actually make it's worthwhile doing. If you've got a design that you particularly like but it was hard to design it's worth doing a digital copy so that you can reproduce it anytime you like. Okay that's it, thanks for watching, take care now, bye bye.